Hi guys, I'm Nick Broiley, I'm from Sydney, Australia and I teach at St. Teresa's Primary School here in uh, Sydney and I also do a little bit of uh, chat stuff online with um, Aussie Ed. Alright, hi guys, um, as I said I'm Nick Broiley, I'm from Sydney. Um, we're just moving into a um, BYRD environment at my school so we've started to use iTunes U. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are probably very familiar with iTunes U so I won't go into too many of the little details but um, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you some examples of what I've done in my classroom. Um, so yeah, I'm Nick Broly, I'm from Sydney, um, I do a little bit on Twitter um, and I, I'm really pleased to participate with you guys because I've connected with you previously um, in, in different Twitter things so I'm really pleased to be here today. Anyhow, iTunes U. It's essentially a free iTunes app um, that you can download and then create content um, and the kids can go ahead and do the course that you create uh, at their own speed. Um, I've, I've found that it's pretty easy to use um, and pretty easy to set up, so those people who are a bit scared of trying something new perhaps, um, the only thing you really need is an Apple ID, um, syllabus outcomes obviously and the iTunes app which is um, free. Uh, knowledge of apps and you know, ideas that can all be developed later on. Um, the app's broken down into five parts, you've got info, um, we talk to the kids about what it is, uh, posts which is essentially where all the content is. Uh, students can make their own notes, uh, materials, that's where you put in the apps and photos and videos and all that sort of stuff and that admin that you can um, change for yourself. Now this is what I really wanted to show you guys. This is one um, iTunes U course that I did with my students last year uh, to prepare uh, the school and my students for um, a BYD environment. So this was a science unit um, all about space that we did. Um, but the thing is, the students that I taught, I'd already taught them two years previously. Uh, about space, so I needed to do something different. So I decided to do an inquiry unit. Um, there were three elements basically um, that we focused on. What do we already know? How can we share our knowledge with everyone else? And uh, what do I want to know more about? And I'll talk to you about the activities that we did. But I just want to remind you guys, when you do something like this and you say to kids, this is an app you can use, please don't force them to use it because if you force them to use it, you might be limiting their creativity because as we know, these kids, they love their apps and they might know an app that does exactly the same job but better. So please don't tell them that they must use a certain app because if they can do it better, let them. So the first part was what do you already know? And I asked students to um, sketch note and blog about all the things that they knew already. So it's a really valuable form of pre-testing for me as a teacher and I can see what they already know and perhaps a direction for where they can go. The second part, I actually um, presented on this in Teach Meet NZ um, on Thursday and Friday last week. A fabulous opportunity to come down to Christchurch and meet a lot of New Zealanders. Um, but the series, uh, the talk was all about making a web series, um, and the kids all produced a separate episode about the solar system. We uploaded that to YouTube. So that was that was essentially how they can share the information that they already knew, put it out there online, and share it with everyone else. The next part was really cool. Um, this is where I got the kids to design an inquiry question about whatever they wanted to know more about in the space, to do with space, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'll wrap it up, whatever they wanted to know about in space. Um, and so I got them to create their own iBook and then we submitted that and um, the kids can have that on their devices. And the last part is obviously an evaluation of their learning and what they thought of the unit. Um, if you guys are keen to have a look at the course, I'll leave this, um, you'll, you'll be able to come back to this later and see the code. Um, if you'd like to have another look at the presentation, there's a bit.ly link, um, bit.ly iTunes U spaced out. Uh, and of course, you can contact me on Twitter for any other uh, questions you might have. Thanks.